Hey everybody, Laserbolt here, and welcome to another episode. A few weeks ago I started using Reality Mixer when I'm in VR and Flight Simulator. It's been great. Reality Mixer is a neat little program you can get on Steam that allows you to place boxes around any object in your room, and then they'll show up in Steam VR games when you're playing them on your Quest 3. Perfect for home cockpits, right? Well today I'm going to show you a few more handy uses for a reality mixer along with some basic tips and tricks. So in my last video I gave you a detailed breakdown of how you can set up reality mixer and use it with the flight simulator home cockpit. And based on a lot of questions a lot of people were asking, here's a few things that might help you troubleshoot any problems. Now first of all this video is for using reality mixer on a Quest 3. It won't work on a Quest 2. You can't use this with a link cable or air link. You need to use a virtual desktop to connect your headset to your PC. This is also why it won't work on the Quest 2. In the Quest 2 version of Virtual Desktop, the option for mixed reality is unavailable on the streaming tab. You can actually configure it, but you just can't activate it. Also, you have to be using Steam VR for this to work. You don't have to have the Steam version of Flight Simulator, but you need to use Steam VR to connect. Here's how the developer of Reality Mixer puts it. You need to run Steam VR because the app expects and needs the OpenVR API. You can use the app with a game launched outside of Steam as long as it uses Steam VR as the VR runtime. Now, when you launch Reality Mixer on Steam, it might be a little confusing because it throws you into the Steam VR environment with nothing going on, you might need to bring up the system tray using the little menu button on the left controller here. Just click the Reality Mixer icon right here, and there you go. It can also be a little confusing whenever you try to create a camera box because it places the box directly on top of you. The first one I made, I had to look all over the place until I found it. The only little bug or glitch I found is sometimes the camera box just turns a solid color and stops working properly. I found that this happens every time I take off the headset for a minute and then put it back on. Unfortunately, the only way I found to fix this is to open up the menu and exit Steam VR, then relaunching Reality Mixer and Steam VR again. In Flight Simulator, you might not need to restart the game, but most other games will require a restart. Alright, now let's look at some fun ways to use this. Of course, it's perfect for bringing your home cockpit into Flight Simulator or your racing wheel into your favorite racing game. It's really handy being able to see all the dials and switches and you don't have to peek out through the nose hole so you can enter frequencies and altitudes and stuff. And you can also set up camera boxes that only activate when you look at them. Setting one of these up in a spot where you can keep an eye on your phone or your snacks or your keyboard is super handy. And look at here's a neat thing you can do. You can make it so it shows the floor when you look straight down. Really helpful for keeping yourself oriented when you're playing games where you move around a lot. Or how about creating a camera box around your door, right? It helps you stay oriented, plus you can see if anybody enters the room. Just don't forget that door follows you everywhere. One of my favorite things to do is to spend a nice relaxing Sunday afternoon doing a little fishing, watch my lions on TV, 
Dan Skipper, an extra offensive lineman, comes in. Play action. Enzo, there it is! Unbelievable! The two-point try is good, and it's Taylor Decker, part of the old guard that was saluted after the win last week. Now Flag comes in at the end. Wait, what? One of the games I've been playing a lot lately is The Last Clockwinder. It's a fantastic game. I've been having a ton of fun with this one, and look, I put a camera around my clock so I can always see what time it is. Pretty handy in a game like this where you can get sucked in for hours and lose track. By the way, if you've never played this game, you should definitely give it a try. It's an awesome puzzle game. You can record your movements and then with the push of a button, create a little robot that mimics your actions, right? This way you can create a little workforce that can harvest and collect all the resources you need. And that keeps this clock tree kind of thing operating. It's absolutely fantastic and really rewarding as you solve these puzzles. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. Bye now.